hello everyone so today we are going to look into how to save the location of the player when we save the game and then when we replay the game the game will be start from the last location the player was in when the game was saved so to demonstrate that here I have added a checkpoint over here that saves the game so when I don't have a save file the character starts from here but when the game when I go here the game is saved so we got the game saved pop up so now if I stop the game and play again now instead of starting the character over there the game is started from here so saving and loading character player characters location and rotation that's what we are going to look into today okay so last time we worked on how to save the level that the player was playing last time and when i press continue the level is loaded the last level is loaded that the, the player was playing so let me show that so here we have this new game and continue button if i press continue i guess i was playing this demo level so that is loaded so the next thing i want to do is how to save the player data within within the level so let's do that implement the system in this demo level so what I want to do is let's say if I am saving yeah, I am saving the game in this checkpoint next time when I start instead of starting from the very beginning uh, the game should start from whatever the location the player was last saved so we already implemented a system to save the save on trigger so each trigger have a mechanism that allow me to save the level but at the moment it only takes into account what's the level what's the current level play is played so it does not consider any players location data or ammo counts health levels nothing is considered nothing is saved for the moment okay so that's what i want to save now and this save game is implemented through the vpi game instance in the current game instance that we are using so if i go to this is the game instance save game here this is the save game function that it's it only saves the level name so that i can continue from that level so i added this game saved show tip part as well so that we can see when the game is saved let me see quickly check if that is working Okay, here we should get in five seconds game saved yeah game saved okay so now let's see uh, what do we need to save let's first see how to save the player's location and perhaps rotation too so that means transform okay so for that here yeah. save file sv progress i'll add a function mm. so in the function variable player transform this should be transform okay now when I save mm, let's get 
some space. transform we can access get player character get character transform right now mm, this data uh, for when I load the level for the first time this data is not there so I need I will have a 0 0 0 location and a rotation in the first time when I try to load this so yeah how should we load it we just load the level that's all we does for now in the game instance Let's see. Let me open the interface. We are not really using this plant manager stuff. Because also from that survival template that I was using the same game instance we should get some error yeah fruit plant oh we have this Sorry, i just delete it right now it's fine because i don't really need that okay now we need a way to get the player's location into the player character and um, move the player character into the last saved location okay so for that let's add a function get player data to be more descriptive get saved player data so what are the things we need to save and load for first as the first item I know that I need to save and load the location then we would need to save and load weapon data and perhaps health grenade count so we would really need all those things so let's define some data structure. Wait, no. Data structure sometimes has given me bugs. So let's just get the transform. And also another one to show that we do have saved player data so data available okay this two should be enough for now so now when we save we need to set this value also to true and also we need to have this value also in our save progress so what's the name i used save data now let's say player data available because it's not just any save data it's we should be specific 
So, voilà. By default, this is false. Now, when we save, this is play data. So, I think it would be a good idea to collapse this part. data available as true right now we need another function oh no we already have git save play data so we need to implement this Oh, hold on. We already have this get save data function. So we can just use that, but that will give us a concrete reference to SV progress. But I wouldn't actually mind that for now. So, but this will expose into classes where this is not actually good. This will make uh, too much coupling we should stick with the default types for return types how do we use this only here i should get rid of that but not now so here let's play here um, it would be enough to restore the state of the player character so another function load player and I'll call it before updating this grenade count or mine counts so load player data here at the moment we are not saving and loading grenade count or mine counts so it wouldn't matter anyway so now here give it game instance get player oh. get saved player data and if the data is available we need to set that to location and rotation the scale doesn't matter here even though we have in the transform I'm not really changing the scale of characters now this should uh, move the character to the place where the game was uh, saved now even if I play it even if I have a save file the character is not moved 
here because at the time I was making the save file uh, we didn't have the player data now when I move here and after saving saved okay if I stop and play now if everything is working correctly I sh my character should move here didn't why all right I didn't implement this yet so we can use this uh, validated get available and get player transfer and return it yeah now it worked this is where the game was saved because this is where the trigger starts at the trigger we start the game saving okay now the saving part works let's see i'll save the game at this point also save on this here and also save on here check oh wait this actually is not good because at the moment we don't have a way to save weapon data so even if the save works say here I can pick up and go here pick up everything and go here now game is saved here I can complete this part but if I stop the game and load I wouldn't have weapons I am still here but I wouldn't have weapons so at the moment it can only save the location of the player so we will look into that next but not today so for today just saving the location should be enough so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye